What's going on guys venomous here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys two games and my opinion on skill based matchmaking now the title says skill based matchmaking is actually good and it is it's most people complain about it because they feel like it's too hard for them or it's not as fun as it used to be and I guess I can agree with them but in order to improve, you need to play people that are better than you. And if they have connection-based matchmaking, you're going to find people that are sometimes worse than you. And you're not really going to improve at all. You're not going to learn from your mistakes. And you're not really going to, I guess, improve at all. Because you're just playing people that are worse than you. And you can just do the same thing you always do instead of changing up your strategy so you can become a better player now this first game is I'm on my brother's alternate account and he doesn't really play on this a lot um, it has a point nine five KD but to be honest these people aren't really that good um, the people I'm playing against uh, it's just because I'm so used to playing with people that have 1.0 KDs. Like, on my Venomous Nude account, I'm getting matched with people that have 1.5 KDs or um, 1.2 KDs. And I'm just used to playing with those kind of people. So, these people were pretty easy. I think I end up going on like an 8 kill streak, 8 or 9 kill streak, just by mostly using a sniper alone. And. I could honestly tell that these people were worse than me, and it didn't really affect me. The second game, it kind of looked the exact same, but it kind of put me on my toes because I needed to think, and I needed to play smarter in order to win my 1v1s. But with these guys, I could pretty much just outsnipe them and be fine. And I just had the better skill to pretty much win my 1v1s and that's what got me going up on a nine kill streak like it, they pretty much didn't stand a chance against me and i mean i know it's kind of cheap to go onto another alternate account that you know that you're gonna find people that are worse than you but i mean i'm constantly winning rumble on this guy like i'm winning by like 20 like it's 2500 to I don't even know. It's like they're close to like 1,500. So that's almost 10 kills below me. And I have a gold. Uh, I literally just checked it. I have a gold um, ghost. And that I think. Yeah, like I have 1,000 ELO. I mean, that's not the greatest. But it's a lot better than my Venomous Newt 40 account. And then when I'm going into Rumble on Venomous Newt 40. I'm getting challenged, I, which is good, and that's why skill-based mask making is good because you don't want to be dominating. I mean, you do want to be dominating, but you don't want to be dominating opponents that are worse than you. I mean, that doesn't make sense. You're, they're worse than you. So, obviously, you should win. If you don't, then that kind of makes you bad i mean obviously people are gonna win lose a bunch it happens people lose you're not meant to win everything if you win anything good for you i mean then you should win the lottery and be rich and win cars and win stuff but that, that's not what really happens i mean welcome to the real world buddy um, so yeah, people lose a lot, I lose a lot, um, I think my, honestly, I think my win percent is like 30%, so, or somewhere around there, it's definitely not 50, um, this is on Venomous Newt, I'm using the Thousand Yard, and I'm on Blade Dancer, I used to play Blade Dancer a lot, um, now I'm in a Night Stalker, but yeah, like, I mean, I'm still pulling off some good snipes, these guys were okay, I'm, it was not too hard, but I definitely, I couldn't win to 1v3 that normally I would win. 
Um, I kind of got killed by lag, honestly. But, I mean, it it's the same, and these people are better than me. This is what I pretty much go against every single day, so it's challenging, and it makes me, like, have to think. Like, if I was on Broken Down, the other account, that guy wouldn't have been shooting when I popped out. I probably would have been able to hit the snipe before he could shoot me, but it's basically... It's better than connection-based matchmaking because I've won how many? I'm only silver tier for um, Rumble on my Venomous Nude account, and I've won Rumble games with all my weapons in my inventory. I've I won a Rumble game with an unupgraded Revelator, um, which had absolutely no range. I won, and. I won a whole bunch of games using no land, um, using double sniper. Actually, I haven't done that yet. I would like to, though, because that would be pretty sweet. Um, but on Killer Insanity, me, Killer Insanity 5, my account, um, the dude has like a .75 KD, and I can see the difference, and it's... it's a big difference and I don't really play on that account because it doesn't give me a challenge like I, like I said I, I don't want to be winning against people that are worse than me I want to be winning against people that are my skill or higher because it helps you improve I mean I've become a lot better player than what I was when I first started. I still remember the first map that I got into when I got um, Xbox Live. Um, what happened was, it was Blind Watch. My very first map, I was so happy that I got Xbox Live. I literally bought it five minutes before. I didn't, I didn't care. I went in there with an auto rifle. Auto rifles weren't the meta. And I literally just held down the trigger and I spray and prayed. I mean, like, I, I look like a noob because I was. But now, I used to shotgun. I used to shotgun all the time because that was, that's what it was the meta and that's what I adapted to. That's what I got killed by. I got killed by people that were better than me because they were using shotguns. And I realized that if I'm not using a shotgun, then I'm not going to be that good. So I used a shotgun and I got better and I got better and I got better because it's just what happens when you play people that are better than you. I mean, if I play people that were the exact same as me, then I mean, I probably would have improved a little, but it would have taken a longer time to improve than what um, skill based matchmaking did because um, I didn't get Xbox Live until... I, I literally completed the entire story in Destiny, so I really didn't have anything to do. And so I begged my parents to get me Xbox Live, and I said yes, but... Anyway, it was back when connection-based. So I was getting matched with people that were ten times better than me. And I was just getting... I was going negative every single game. But now I'm going almost positive as many games as I can. Here I have a 5.5 KD. I I think I went I ended up going 16 and 1 in this game or something and 1. But yeah, um definitely keep an open mind to this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.